drums, alcohol. You didn't need to be Scottish to enjoy the Celtic connection put on by the Cochrane Pipe Band. On Saturday, September 29th, there was music, dance and displays for all to enjoy at the Cochrane Lions Event Centre. With over 300 people coming and going throughout the day, band manager Susan Flowers says it was an overwhelming success. And the Haggis prepared for the event while it just flew. Well, we went and ran out of Haggis. <laughs> I was surprised. We used every last bite of it. So we ran out about 3 o'clock. Attracting young people to carry on the legacy of the band was one of the driving forces behind the event. Flowers says young people tend to catch on quickly. We were trying to encourage young people to take up the piping and drumming. Didn't get too many takers, but there was a couple of families that were interested for their kids. You don't have to be Scottish to enjoy being part of a pipe band. It tends to uh, attract more people that are Scottish, but no, anybody can learn. And my Scottish heritage is a little different. It's on my mother's side of the family, but it's just fun to celebrate and learn about. Flowers says anybody seeking more information can reach out to the Cochrane Pipe Band. And there's a couple of us that would volunteer to help them get started, and then we could find them a good instructor, and once they learn about five tunes, then they consider joining the band. One thing is for certain, the band loved the location. I think the location is awesome. There was such a busy town on Saturday, but so many people coming and going that people just stopped in. 